I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. We are not in 1654! It's called living in a civilized society. This isn't Planet of the Apes. Bro! You might finally find your daddy when you're in jail. Hey guys, you're Gorgon, welcome back to my channel. So today, today we're gonna be talking about Karen's. Karen's, Karen's, Karen's. It's been a slight minute since I made a video about Karen's, and you know what? Right when you have hope that they will do better, they do worse. They do worse. We will never be free from the Karens of this world. The suburban mom outfits. And the never ending victim mentality. And honestly, we as a society, we're tired. If you need a little refresher on what a Karen is, I got you. I'm Professor Reezy, and today you're gonna be learning about what a Karen really is. K is gonna stand for what class? Cold. Do y'all see that? K stands for cold. Ooh, I just felt a chill. I just felt a chill. Me just saying that word sent a shivers down my spine. What does A stand for? Anyone? A manager. Yes, yes. You 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 were probably confused as to where I was gonna go with this one. Can I speak to the manager? They will always say that. Next word. R stands for what class? Racist. Let's put here. Racist. With every carrot, there's a little bit of racism underneath. E stands for what class? Entitled. How do I spell? Entitled. Last but not least, N stands for what? Never can mind their own business. Okay, let's talk about it. You minding everybody's business but your own. Do you know how foolish you look, man? So that is it for the Karen acronym. K is for cold. A is for manager. R is for racist. E is for entitled. And N is for never can mind their own business. Class is dismissed. And also, before we get into this video, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being a Reezy. If you don't know what a Reezy is, I'm gonna tell you right now. Reezys are the best people on the internet, and the only way you can become a Reezy is if you hit the subscribe button. There's actually no other rule but that. And to be honest, I wasn't even gonna do another video on Karen's, but I was getting emails. Emails, yes, I saw your email. If you're watching this right now, I saw it. Y'all were tagging me and asking me to react to this video right here. And right when I decide, okay, I'm gonna film it, they deleted the video. But I was able to find like a small little snippet of the video, so that's what we're gonna watch. Those monkeys are back at it again. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Did Monkeys are back at it again. <laughs> Did you have to say monkeys? Before we even really get into the video, I want to explain that this is one of those channels that's kind of like a Darman copycat where they do like skits on stuff that I guess is relatable. So this one in particular is about racist Karens. And the video starts off with her saying, the monkeys are at it again. I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. Huh? Who, who just walks around with a whip in their, in their, in, 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 in their purse? Who does this? Hey! What did I tell you criminals about coming back to my neighborhood? Oh no, Roy, let's just get out of here. Listen, lady, we aren't breaking any laws by having fun here at the park. I won't let you intimidate us anymore. Are you talking back to me, boy? Boy? Hold on! We are not in 1654! Seek help. Forgot who used to own your kind, and I'm about to remind you of that right now. That hurts! Help! What? She's whipping a boy that's in a wheelchair. The other guy's not even doing anything. I just don't understand. Like, what if I was whipping you? What if I was whipping you? She's a Karen. Please help me. I'm just an innocent lady. Would you like that? Don't you touch him or I will knock your teeth out. Roy, hang on. I'll get some help. How are you just gonna leave him? What help are you getting? You could have knocked this girl out. Oh my, my boy has nowhere to go. He's literally just being with. And you left to go and get help? You could have been the help. So that was all that I could find. I really wish I could have watched the entire video, but I just, I, I didn't. Let's just check out the type of channel that would post this type of video. Like, I see what you're trying to do, but it, you just, you're not, the mark is right here and you're right here. You're not hitting it. You're not hitting it. It literally starts off with her just spying on them, saying these monkeys are at it again. What monkeys are you talking about? And then she proceeds to bring out her wit before even talking to the guy. Why are you walking around with that? Ask yourself that question. So she brings out the whip and says, get out my neighborhood. The boy in the wheelchair tries to be some type of savior. No, Vince. 
I won't let her ruin our fun. And then gets beat with the whip. I just... And then his friend leaves. What is the moral of the story? What is the moral of the story? Please let me know. Like I said, let's check out the channel, Generation Hope. Their banner says, making the world a better place, one story at a time. That video may have just ruined my entire week. This video was just posted, evil mom poisons daughter. Stepdad gets rid of eight year old son. Gets rid. Evil stepdad gets rid of son to marry his mother. What happens next is shocking. What does that even mean? How are you going to get rid of the son in hopes of marrying his mother? Does that make sense to you? They need to re replace evil with stupid. What else? Wife cheats on disabled soldier. This thumbnail is actually scary. Oh my God, what is this? Caretaker mistreats grandma. Do y'all see that thumbnail? This is horrifying. What is this? <laughs> evil foster mother mistreats kid. Y'all, I, I, I don't know what to say. So since we're on the topic of Karens, let's check out the next video that they made about a Karen. Karen calls cops on black kids. This woman looks very scary. But yeah, let's watch the video. Where's your permit? Permit? Didn't they teach you thugs anything in those ghetto schools I pay for with my taxes? Huh? Oh, how, how are we just starting the video like this? Or who made the script? I wanna see you. Of course you need a permit. You need a permit to sell anything. It's called living in a civilized society. This isn't Planet of the Apes. Bro, wait, 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 this is going too far. Y'all heard what she said. I don't even have to repeat it. You're telling me there is no other way to portray racism without actually like being racist? I'm gonna call the police. No, 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 please don't call the police. We'll leave right now. Huh, what is in here? More drugs. She said, what is in there? More drugs. And the only thing that fell out was water bottles. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by Albert. Albert is on a mission to help every American reach financial stability and redefine how people feel about money. My personal issue with traditional banks is that one, they charge you a 35 overdraft fee for literally not having money. Another thing is that they literally charge you fees for having a checkings or savings account. They have maintenance fees and they also force you to have a minimum balance and they don't give cash back on debit card purchases. And Albert is completely different from any bank account that you've ever used before. The reason I love Albert so much is that it is so easy to use and 100% free to sign up. It also helps you save automatically. Instead of just opening a traditional savings account and just hoping that you remember to put money into it, Albert strategically looks at your income and expenses and then they automatically move it to your savings account. And the reason I really love that is because you'll be surprised at how much you actually save. And I'm the type of person that really, really needs something like that because I am very forgetful. And in general, most people usually suck at managing money, but Albert actually has a team of financial experts that they call geniuses and they're there seven days a week to answer any question that you have. Handling finances can be hard and very stressful and if you ever have a question a genius is there to answer it click the link in my description box or go to albert.com slash janko to download the albert app today that's albert.com slash j-a-n-k-o and for a limited time only if you open an account and connect a qualifying direct deposit you'll receive 150 dollars and thank you so much albert for sponsoring today's video water come get your cold clean delicious water yes and it's very delicious you don't want to get a heat stroke <laughs> great advertising darnell thanks I learned it from the best. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> hey kids, I couldn't help but overhear that amazing sales pitch. All right, here you go. Awesome. What is going? Just like the other Karen, why are they always hiding behind trees? Why are you always spying on something? Don't you have a home? Don't you have a place to sleep? Is everything all right at home? How's Bill? What are those hood rats doing in my neighborhood? They need to learn their place take their drug selling schemes back to the slums. Hello, miss. Would you like to buy refreshing water to help yeah. save money for- You keep your drug-filled water away from me. I know what you thugs are doing. You can't fool me. Thugs? Ma'am, we're just kids trying to raise money for a good cause. Don't talk back to me, boy. Why did they always say boy? This is basically the exact same video without the whip. It was definitely the same person that made the script. It's too similar. Stand up when you're talking to me. But I'm in a wheelchair. I can't stand up. He's in a wheelchair too. Okay, this is lazy. <laughs> the work is lazy, it's tired. Why is it the exact same storyline? He's in a wheelchair too? Really, y'all can just try and be a little bit different. I won't be surprised if she pulls out a whip. Where's your permit? Permit? Didn't they teach you thugs anything in those ghetto schools I pay for with my taxes? <laughs> of course you need a permit. You need a permit to sell anything. 
It's called living in a civilized society. Why is she talking like it's the 1800s, babe? I don't know where you're from, but it sounds like you in the 1800s. And same with the other lady. It's like once they become racist, all of a sudden they have like a little southern uh, civilized society type of voice. What's going on? This isn't Planet of the Apes. Who is she talking to? Well, I'm sorry, miss. We didn't know. If you don't leave my neighborhood and leave these poor, good-hearted people alone, and stop bothering them with your ugly, dark presence. I am gonna call the police. Wait a minute! Are you telling me that had to be in the script? These words, these lines are a little too, how do I say, racist fun. Let me read the comments. You cast the perfect looking Karen. <laughs> Like backhanded. Is it backhanded? I don't know. No, 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 please don't call the police. We'll, we'll leave right now. Huh. What is in here? More drugs. What are you doing? Now look what you made me do. Hurry up and clean those up, boy. That's littering on the street and that's illegal. What the, f she's actually just a menace. Like, you're walking around causing destruction for what? Are you lonely? Like, Karens cannot mind their own business. You can be eating a bowl of cereal and a Karen will tell you that you're doing it wrong. Look, I feel like there's more that's happening. Let's dig deep, let's dig deep. What is going on in the home life? Because I genuinely feel like the only person that would thrive in causing chaos in other people's lives are people that just have, they're not happy. They're not happy, I thought. I could have you arrested. You might finally find your daddy when you're in jail. Why are you so mean? This is like actually racist. You might actually find your daddy if you go to jail. Like, wow. And it's like, I want to talk about the lady saying all of this, but it's like, I know she's an actor, so I can't really like cross those boundaries. But wow. That's all I can say because this was a heartfelt sentence that this girl just said. She got this from the depth of her heart. So she said it. You think this is mean? You're getting off easy. If my parents were here, they would do way worse. Oh, we know. <laughs> That's what you get for selling drugs in my neighborhood. This is God teaching you people a lesson to stay in your place. <laughs> Hopefully we don't find any more crazy people like that lady here. No, I don't think so. That last spot was 20 minutes away from here. Bro. If she comes back, I would call the police on her. Like, they just said they drove 20 minutes away so they can sell water peacefully. If she comes back, oh no. I think if I was there, I would have to throw hands! Even though I don't fight, I can't fight. And but, be like, what's up, Karen? The doctor recommends you at least drink a gallon a day. Jamal, we did amazing today. We sold almost 200 water bottles. This is definitely the spot. Period. I'm telling you, one day we're both gonna get into great colleges, eventually get our own place. Then we'll be able to come back and help people just like us do the same thing. Oh no, Jamal, look. What? Okay, you need a job. You need a job. Is something wrong with you? You drove 20 minutes out just to find these boys. Let's see what happens next. She's a monster. What did I tell you, you jungle monkeys? What? You don't have to say monkey. Why does she keep doing it? I mean, I know it's because she's racist, but come on. How many times in the script? How many times? Looks like I'm gonna have to call the cops. We, we moved to a whole new place. This isn't even your neighborhood. Don't talk back to me, boy. All these streets belong to my ancestors. We worked hard to build a good neighborhood. Make America great again, hit it. Stop. Move on. What do you do for a living? I'm calling the authorities. You are breaking the law by selling those poisonous bottles. No, 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 please don't. I'm scared. I'm scared for Jamal. I can't lie. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is like a movie, to be honest. Look what you did, you hood rat. That, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Now I'm going to teach you what happens when you mess with people like me. Hey, what's going on here? The audacity. Wait, where did he come from? Was it from the beginning? So you drove 20 minutes out too? They got a tracking device on y'all. These thugs are selling water bottles without a permit. I'm teaching them a lesson. You don't need a permit to sell bottled water. Anybody can do that here. Really? But she kept saying well, we go to jail. Jail? You guys are not going to jail. What 
are you doing? You're a foolish woman. You are stupid. You know what? It's just frustrating me. You scared these boys. You told them, oh, you're gonna go to jail. You're gonna go to jail. Now, now you look stupid. You actually look stupid. And I'm embarrassed for you, to be honest. Seek help. We gotta stop them before they start infecting our neighborhood. Baby, you are the infection. You are the infection and we need an antibiotic to get rid of you because you're the one that's causing problems in this neighborhood. Everyone seems peaceful. I don't know where you're coming up with they. All I see is a couple of young men trying to make some money out here. Yeah! People like you, they make all our efforts go to waste. You should be ashamed for going against your own kind. My own kind? You mean human? We're all the same. You should be the ones to shame for hassling these kids like this. I can't believe the patience they had with you. I'd have flung a water bottle at your head. <laughs> Say less. Do it. You know what? Get out of here for hassling these guys before I call the cops on you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. You are a loser. You are a loser. Please, get out of here. I'm sorry you kids had to experience that. I mean, some people in this world don't understand that we're all equal. Water. Come get some water, man. All right. All right. Awesome. Have a good one. Next. But wow, what an ending. What an ending. It really shows us that Karen's must be stopped. <laughs> That's about it. I don't really know what else to say, but wow, that was... That was a really nice message towards the end. I really didn't know where we were gonna go, to be honest. I saw her raise her hand and I said, wait, wait a minute. This video was very interesting. It makes me wanna watch the rest of their videos because I really wanna know how far they go. Because I heard monkey, ape, I heard that a little too many times. Ghetto, thief, thugs, I heard that a little too many times. I was shocked. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. This was very, very crazy. Very crazy. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok and my Twitter and my Discord. Everything will be in the description box. But just follow me everywhere. I'll see you guys on my next video. I love you and peace.